Welcome to Sharing Your Vision. Today I have a very special guest, Sarine Caraballo. She's been with us before, but in the Spanish section of this program, which is Compartiendo la Visión. But today we're sharing more of her vision on this new program that we love so much because we get to share all the things that God is doing in our lives, Sarine. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Elaine. How are you? I am so privileged to have you here. And I enjoy always speaking to you. You have so much to offer us and to share with us, to teach us so we could be better at what we do. Thank you. Thank you. It's my pleasure. My pleasure. <laughs> so tell me, tell me, let's continue where we left off last time. Uh, we talked about how you do conferences, how you teach people in their own profession how to be better how to communicate better, how, how to share the information better. And I'm also here to learn. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, in our last program, the, the one that is in Spanish, we were talking about my business. Uh, I just found uh, a business with my husband. Our business name is Ask Leadership Team. And wow, it, it has been a privilege to found that business because we have been blessing so many people's lives with it. So I'm, I'm very happy to be here with you and to share that with you. How did you start? Wow, uh, we started last March 31st because after Hurricane Maria, we just need to move to, to the United States. And we found that God was like, telling us that we need to move over there. So over there, we just talk about it and we found out that I needed to start the business because if I don't start that business, I was not going to be able to start God's purpose in our lives. So mm -hmm. that's how we started after Hurricane Maria. I know that you went through hardships and it had to do with you uh, divorcing and remarrying. Now you have a wonderful man. Yes. You have someone that takes care of you. You have someone that looks after you and that allows you to enter the business world, but Christian based. Yeah. How does that feel? Well, right now it feels so well. Uh, I feel very blessed because I I cannot understand why God shows us to do this business as a Christian based business. And I feel so good, so good with it because when I see the many lives that come to Jesus through our business, it's like um it's like it's amazing gl uh, the glory of God mm -hmm. uh, and it's very amazing. Sarinette, I know you went through a lot of hardship, but God has shown you through the process that you have gifts, you have talents, you have a very beautiful personality. You talk to people in a way that people connect with you. We're connecting. <laughs> yes. This is amazing. Yes, this is are. wonderful. And now we're connecting with everyone that's seeing us and that is hearing us because um, God wants you to share the tools, all the blessings uh, that God has bestowed upon you to be able to give to other people the ability to do what you have done and to be able to grow, expand in whatever they do, whatever profession uh, they may find themselves in. And that's important because you could do so much more with your life and, but you need that guiding voice, that, that experience that can take them there. Talk to us a little bit about the business that you're in. Obviously, is to orient people. How do you do it in the sense that what is the need of those people uh, that go and see and are part of the conferences? Well, the, we, we talk about leadership and we talk about uh, sales because I have more than 14 years of experience in sales. And that's why I think I'm the, like the, we are, because it's not just me. My husband is also part of the team. So we, we have like the, the experience that the people need in, in order to 
take their business to another level, we found out that most of the business right now, they are encountering uh, leadership problems and they don't know how to make the, the sale of their product or of their service. Those are the main uh, factors that, that they encounter when they try to move on with their business. So we talk about leadership, we talk about sales, and we help them to acquire knowledge in those um, areas so they could, they could move on with their businesses. That's what we do. What would you consider a good leader? Well, Elaine, a good leader for me and for John Maxwell, because I'm a certified speaker and trainer from the John Maxwell team, is the one who influences people. I cannot say that I'm a good leader if I don't have followers or if I don't have any people who, who wants to be like me or make the same thing that I'm doing. Uh, John Maxwell says that if you want to measure um, people's leader, leadership, you need to see how many followers they have. <laughs> Because if, if you don't have any follower, you are not leading. You're just uh, doing your job, but you are not leading. That's like the measure of leadership that we know if we are leading well, if we have followers. If we don't have the followers, we are just doing our job. Do you find uh, people that are very conflictive when it comes to understanding what a leader should be? Some people think that being a boss and being a leader are the same, but they aren't the same. Uh, and they should start to mix those things in order to be a, a better leader. Because if they mix their technical skills as managers with their leadership skills, they can become uh, better leaders because uh, being a leader is not the same uh, like being a boss. I understand that being a boss is mostly cold. It's like, here's the instructions, here are the hours, this is your duty, make sure you get it done. But a leader, a leader shows you warmth. They treat you humanly yes. and they expect things, but they expect them in a different way, in a natural way, in a smooth way. So people can be themselves and they can enjoy what they do. Yeah, John Maxwell says that a leader is the one who shows the way, goes the way. So if a leader wants to be like an influence for other people, they need to know how is that path. They need to show the way to to walk through that path because if they don't do it, they are going to just telling people like, you need to do this, you need to do that thing. And that's not a leader. Yeah, that puts a lot of pressure on a person. It makes them feel as if they're looking over them. It makes them feel uncomfortable. A lot of people don't perform to their fullest capacity because they have people that don't understand that they need to lead not just be a boss. A leader is much different. Uh, people feel that they can accomplish. And if they're not all there with all that they need, they understand that there's patience, there's understanding, and also to uh, share with them, hey, I, I see what you're trying to do here. Let me try to help you. Also, put yourself in their shoes and work. You yes. need to work. A leader my understanding of a leader is that they need to work. They need to be part of the function. They need to be part of the ensemble. They need to be yes. part of what it is that they're trying to reach at. Just don't stand outside and expect yeah. people to do <laughs> what you need to do, but rather join them. Yes. Be a friend. Be someone. There is an authority to follow. There is a procedure to follow. We understand that, and people understand that, but they need to feel like they belong. Yes, that's right. And if we show people that we understand them, that we are going to be with them, um, teaching them, 
what they need to to learn in order to become a great leader they they are going to follow us and they are, they are going to to become a better person as well how can they get in touch with you how can they reach out to you so you can continue to nurture them and guide them and also invite them so they can also be part of what it is that a leader should be we can be found in all social media networks uh, as ask leadership team ask leadership team or people could email us um, in info at askelteam.com well, thank you so much for sharing all this information i really enjoyed this time i want you to come back Thank later so on much. and keep sharing with us keep nurturing us keep being that leader that others can follow and become leaders themselves now before we leave what message can you leave in their hearts today um i encourage every people that will see this program to follow their dreams and to don't focus on the hardships that they will encounter in, in the path to that dream. That will be my message to everyone. Thank you, Sarinette, for sharing all that you have uh, earned uh, coming from hardship to now victory. Everyone, you need to be encouraged. You need to grow. You need to expand. There's just never enough. We need more information. We need to take the time and dedicate it to nourishing our capacity, wherever it is that you are working on or working in or whatever career path you have chosen. There's always growth, but it's always good to have tools to be able to expand and to be able to do more. Thank you so much. Thank and you. you are someone that I admire very much because <laughs> you. we speak in the Spanish realm and that's where we move. And now we are entering in the English realm. So it takes a little bit of more time, but nonetheless, we are victorious women of God mm -hmm. and Amen. there is no task that we can't overcome. Amen. And that goes for you too. God bless you and see you on the next Sharing Your Vision.